Hello viewers, this is Dr. Fast here. In today's video, I'll be reviewing this 360 G300H dash cam. Now, as you can see, this dash cam has a very unique slim design. It also has many great features built into it. This dash cam records in Full HD 1296p resolution. It also features color night vision, parking monitor, Wi-Fi connectivity with app, and built-in GPS to log driving data. So let's see how well this dash cam performs, and we'll check out the daytime and nighttime recording. Let me show you the unboxing of this G300H dash cam. It comes with two screens you can stick on the windshield and then you place a dash cam on top of the screen. User manual. Now this dash cam includes a 32 gigabyte micro SD memory card which is very nice. Right here is a 360 G300H dash cam. Power cable, plastic pry tool, and the cigarette lighter power adapter. Here's a look at everything you get with this dash cam. So let's have a closer look at this G300H dash cam. As you can see, it has a very unique design. It's very slim with a windshield mount at the top and the front camera at the bottom here. Now this camera records in 1296p and has a viewing angle of 160 degrees. This dash cam also features color night vision and parking monitor recording that can detect motion and impact. You can adjust the angle of the camera by swiveling this up or down. Looking on the side, there's a speaker, there's a switch button, power button, and a view button. At the bottom, right here is a microphone. On the back is a two inch color LCD display. And right here at the top, there's a micro SD memory card slot. And next to it is a micro USB for powering the dash cam. This dash cam also has a built-in GPS antenna, so it's able to record your driving speed and driving coordinates. Now this dash cam comes with a 32 gigabyte micro SD memory card, which is very nice because you don't have to go and buy one yourself. To install the memory card, place it into the micro SD memory card slot. To power the dash cam, use the included power cable and the cigarette lighter power adapter. The length of this power cable is 11 and a half feet long, so that'll give you enough length to run the cable from the headliner over to the A pillar and down to your center console. Connect this end of the power cable to a USB port on the power adapter. Connect the other end of the cable with a micro USB connector to the dash cam. And plug this into your car's 12 volt accessory port. Format memory card. So the first thing you want to do is format the memory card. Press the middle side button to select it. Now the dash cam will begin recording automatically when you start the vehicle. That's indicated by the flashing red dot on the LCD right here. Also the LCD will show you the live view of what the front camera is seeing. To go into the settings menu, press the side top button two times. The first press will show you the day and time. Press it again. Now you're in the settings menu. First item is download mobile app. This will show you the QR code for your phone to install the app. Next, basic Wi-Fi information. This will show you the hotspot name and the password. Wi-Fi by default is on. Day and time, here you can set the day and time. Voice, this will allow you to change the volume of the speaker. Video recording is on. Language, here you can select different languages. Sensitivity, you can change the sensitivity of the G sensor. Parking monitor, by default is disabled. You can set it for low or high. Auto turn off screen. By default off, so the LCD display will remain on. Default screen. You can set it for recording time or clock. Built-in speed is enabled, so this will record the speed you're traveling at. Time lapse. Now by default it's set to enable 16 hours. But from what I can tell, this dash cam does not do time lapse recording. So I'm not sure what this feature is for. Format TF card is to format the memory card. Default setting will revert back to factory default. GPS information, this will show you the GPS satellite signal lock and the version of the software. When you're done, go back to return. With the built-in G sensor, while the dash cam is recording, if it detects an impact to the vehicle, it will automatically lock that video clip. I'll simulate it by tapping the dash cam. 
So right now this video clip that's being recorded will be locked and will not be overwritten. If you want to turn off the LCD while it's recording, press a power button on the side. Dash cam is constantly recording. Press it again to turn it back on. To install the mobile app, you can scan the QR code that you saw earlier on the dash cam, or you can go to your Play Store and search for the app called 360 Dash Cam. Install it. Open the app. Allow. Select Add Device. Select the dash cam. Make sure the Wi Fi on your phone is turned on. Next, authorize location permissions. When you see this screen, go to your dash cam. And select yes. And right now you're looking at the live view of the dash cam. You can go into settings. Here you can make changes to the settings of the dash cam similar to what you saw earlier on the LCD screen. When you're done you can exit out. So let's take this to the car, get it installed, and we'll check out the daytime and nighttime recording. To install the dash cam you can first install this clear film onto the windshield and then install the dash cam using a double side tape onto this clear film. The nice thing about doing it this way is if you have to remove the dash cam, all you have to do is remove this clear film off the windshield and the dash cam will come off. But you don't have to use this clear film if you don't want. You can directly install the dash cam onto the windshield. Connect the USB power cable to the dash cam. Run this cable up to the headliner, over to the A pillar and down to your center console. Plug the cigarette lighter power plug into the 12 volt accessory port. Turn on the ignition. The dash cam will power on and begin recording. Start recording. Looking at the app, right now you're looking at the live view from the dash cam. Here's a full screen look. Let me demonstrate to you how the parking mode work. First you need to enable it. Go into settings. Go to the parking monitoring setup. By default, it's disabled. I'll set it to high. Exit. Now you see this icon with a P in the middle. That's for parking mode monitoring. When I turn off the ignition, the dash cam will shut off and go into standby mode. Power supply is disconnected. The device is about to enter park monitoring mode. Now at this time, if the dash cam detects an impact or detect motion, it will automatically record a short video clip. I'll simulate an impact by hitting my A pillar. Now you're not going to see anything on the LCD, but the dash cam is recording a short video clip. After the recording, it'll go back into standby parking monitoring mode. The device is about to enter park monitoring mode. When you come back to your vehicle and turn on the ignition, the dash cam will notify you there was an event recording. Start recording. New park monitoring file is available. View now. If you want to play back the recorded video on the dash cam, press the down select button. Stop recording. Here you can select loop recording, emergency video. I'll select loop video. Use the up and down select button to scroll to different videos. Press the middle button to play back. You can also delete the video if you want. If you want to play back the recorded video on the app, select album at the bottom here. Stop recording. You can select emergency video or loop video. On this list, it'll show you the dates and the time of the video. Select it to play it. If you want, you can delete the video or download the video to your phone. When you're done, go back. Start recording. At the bottom, next to album, there's driving records. Stop recording. This will show you a log of where you drove to on what day and what time. If you select one of them, it'll show you a Google map of where you started and where you ended, the distance, the average speed, and the time duration. Now if you want, you can also take the microSD memory card out of the dash cam and plug it into a card reader on your computer. There you'll see a list of all the recorded videos.
Overall, this 360 G300H dash cam is a pretty good performer. It's packed with a lot of great features you want in a dash cam. The built-in GPS will record your driving data, and the Wi-Fi connection will allow you to use the app to view your live video and play back the recorded video and also download it to your phone. The parking monitor function works very well, is powered by the internal rechargeable battery, and you don't have to hardwire this to the fuse box. Is able to detect both motion and impact to the vehicle. As for the video recording, the picture quality is very clear. You can clearly read license plates in front of you. As for the nighttime recording, this is one area I'm very impressed with this dash cam. Instead of the usual black and white nighttime recording, it actually records a nighttime video in full color. This is not something I've seen on other dash cams. Now the time of this review, you can actually get this dash cam for $80, which is an excellent price point. If you want to get one for yourself, check out the link below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. To support this channel, remember to click on thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you get notified of new videos.